Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Levi, and this is your school news. Federal cards are due back to your homeroom teacher today. Tomorrow night, come out to support our seniors in the Mr. and Ms. CHS pageant. Doors open to the auditorium at 5.45 with the pageant starting at 6.30. Tickets will be $10 at the door. Journalism will be holding a cornhole tournament at 4 p.m. on October 13th before the homecoming game. Sign-ups will start next Monday during lunches and are open to both students and staff. Sophomores, the pre-ACT test is the week of October 23rd. This test will be administered to all 10th graders. You, if you have any questions regarding the pre-ACT, please go to the testing information icon on the DHS website or contact Ms. Miller with any questions. That's all for this week. Thanks, Bulldogs. Have a great day. Introducing this year's Dixon Spirit Week. First off, Monday is no school, but it's also decor the halls between 1 to 4. Freshmen have the annex. Sophomores have the back hall. Juniors have the front hall. And seniors have the short hall. Tuesday is anything but a backpack and party in the USA. Wednesday is Barbie and Ken. Thursday is soccer mom and barbecue dad. And then last but not least, Friday is class colors. Freshmen are white. Sophomores are gold. Junior is black. And seniors are maroon. My first idea was, in one quarter of an hour, your savings will tower. Over you, figuratively speaking. But that's not catchy, is it? It's not going to swim about in your brain. So I thought, what about... The earlier that you buy, the more that you save. Serendipity. The earlier you buy, the more you save! Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Riley. And, and this, this is, is your sports, sports news. news. Tonight, football plays at home against West Carteret. Monday the 2nd, golf will have a match at Moorhead City Country Club. Tuesday, tennis has a game against Swansboro at Onslow Pines. Men's soccer has a game against Croton. And volleyball has a game at West Carteret. Wednesday the 4th, cross country has a meet at Northeast Creek Park. Thursday the 5th, tennis will have matches against Richlands at Jacksonville Commons. Volleyball will have a game at Croatan, and soccer will have games at Swansboro. JV football will also have a game at Swansboro. That's all for this week. <laughs> Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Charlotte, and this is your World News. For our first story, in the U.S., the amount of school districts adopting four-day weeks are on the rise, with nearly 900 as of this school year. The movement has gained great support overall from districts, parents, and of course the children. However, there's also a substantial number of parents who have found troubles with it, especially those with younger children or children with disabilities who require extra care. Costs for daycares or babysitters, especially multiplied by several children, can become great and sometimes familial help isn't available for parents who work a five-day schedule. In our next story, Russia launched an attack on Odessa, a major port and agricultural shipping city in Ukraine, leaving multiple granaries destroyed and the port significantly damaged. The drone strikes and missiles from Russia's Black Sea fleet ignited fires in several warehouses in one house, and firefighters worked in the early morning to put them down. However, Russia still expresses satisfaction in the attack, claiming they believe the decline in grain exportation will cause friction between Ukraine and its European neighbors and allies. In our final story of the day, a Madison, Wisconsin team named Josh Burton, has survived a double lung retransplant. He had his first in 2021 after discovering he had a rare disease the year before. However, not long after, he discovered his lungs didn't work anymore, prompting a second transplant. His mother tried for two years to find not only a hospital that would perform the procedure and a pair of suitable lungs, going through 13 pairs of lungs before they would find the one that would work. After they finally found the pair, the long years of struggle were over, and Josh Burton got one last surprise before he left Chicago. He was given a special behind-the-scenes look at Sue the T-Rex, one of the most well-preserved fossils ever found at the Field Museum in Chicago. With the arduous journey complete, Josh returned home to Madison to begin a normal life again. That's it for the news today. Have a great day, Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Aiden, and this is your weather forecast for this weekend. Today, we'll have mostly cloudy skies with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 61 degrees. Tomorrow, we'll have sunny weather with a high of 79 degrees and a low of... 59 degrees. 
and Sunday we'll have equally sunny weather with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 59 degrees. As usual, there's a possibility of dense fog, so be careful while driving. Stay safe out there, Bulldogs. All right, so I'm here with... Alina Brown. Again, part two. Jax. Uh, Nate. Yep, Scott. Brody Harna. All right, I'm going to have you spell fall-related words, okay? So I'm going to have you spell foliage. F-O-L-I-A-G-E. Yeah. Oh, because I'm not good. F-O-L-I-A-G-E. 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 Okay. Do you spell the word bountiful? B-O-U-N-T-I-F-U-L. 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 Bountiful? Yeah. B-O-U-N-T-F-U-L. Close. Close? Yeah. Uh, cool I, in between T and F. Autumn. A U T U M N. A U T U M N. A U T U N N. A U T U N N. Okay. <laughs> Equinox. U E Q U I O X. E Q U I N O X. Orchard. O R C H A R D. O R C H I R D. Why does everybody mess up orchard? That's like the easiest word. No, I got that wrong. O R C H A R D. A R D? No way. I'm thinking orchid. I'm thinking like orchid. Like a flower? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Spell cinnamon. <laughs> C I N N A M O N. Good job. Uh, C I N N A N O N. No. C I N N A M. That's what I said. You said no. Oh. Lost it. So I got two. I got. Well, I got two wrong. C I N I M. C I N N A M O N. Okay, so. Okay. 